ever, ever. Yeah. So uh, then, of course, Jimmy and myself were taken down to Grandma and Grandpa, which was too bad because, mm -hmm. uh, and we wished. Some of the stories here? Yeah. He didn't, he didn't want us to help you. And, uh, okay. and of course, we stayed then with Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah. Well, Grandma and Grandpa, it was hard in the picture of Grandma now. Family. And I don't believe that I seen my mother three times during all that time. Because she was having the other children. And that's what she was I don't know. How many other children did she have after you? She had Julia, she had Anne, she had Tom, she had Martin. Who was the other one's name? Well, she must have had about six, or six children after that. Wow. Yeah, she must have had, but my stepfather didn't want Jimmy and myself. Mm -hmm. Somebody had said, you know, that he, he didn't want anything to do with with uh, so, us. So you were nine months old when that happened? I was only nine months old. But that was hard on Grandma and Grandpa, mm -hmm. you know, to take in, you know, two small children oh, yeah. mm -hmm. so into the house after raising a big family. Mm -hmm. Poor Say thing. Mother. Oh, you just took her parents. But I met your, your dad's parents or your mom's parents? Oh, my mom's parents. Those were your mom's parents? Yeah. My dad's parents were... I would say they were older, and uh, of course uh, they were where my stepfather was. Mm -hmm. But my stepfather didn't want us at all. Didn't want anything to do with us, mm -hmm. Jimmy and myself. But then, when as time went by, and the grandma and grandpa had to have somebody come home to take the farm over, and they were all here in America. Mm -hmm. Who was that now? My mother's father and mother, mm -hmm. and they were all here in America, and and they wanted somebody to take over the land because they were getting up in years. Mm -hmm. So, the first one they wrote for was Captain Ryan's, Captain, shoot, Captain McNally. Then mm -hmm. they wrote for her father and mother, since they were both from close to home, or home, you know. When, when they got uh, and they got the word back that the flu had started in this country mm -hmm. and had killed Catherine's father, oh. so that finished that. Mm -hmm. So then I had another uncle, Tom Grady's father, that never worked a farm and didn't know which end of the horse to put to the cart. <laughs> Went back, and took. I think it was four children. Well, they had six children, I think, now. And went back there. Things didn't work. Now you're in a small house. There's one, two beds in one end of the house, or three, and then one or two in the other end of the house. A small farm house, not a big house. It's all done. Then you had open fire. But it's all done. You didn't have a central You had an open high fire. And. Uh, It didn't work because if they gave a crust of bread to their family and didn't give Jimmy and myself the same amount, hey, 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 come on now. That's not nice. What were you doing? What do you say? What, what do you say? say to Great Grandma? That was not very nice to kick her chair. Oh, what? that's all right. What, what do you say? say? You say that's sorry. all right, honey. Tell Grandma sorry. That's all right, honey. You're a good girl. So then, of course, we stayed with Grandma and Grandpa. But I didn't get as much schooling as I should have got. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was maybe four miles to walk to school. Mm -hmm. Three or four miles, mm -hmm. and little kids it was a long way. So uh, then, later on, when when Grandma and Grandpa died close together, maybe a couple of months apart. When was that? That was when I was maybe. 
Uh, maybe I was about 12. Mm -hmm. And Jimmy was a year older than I was. Mm -hmm. Now, when he became of age, my father's land was divided three ways. Jimmy got the most, and my mother got her share, and I got what was left over here in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so. The back 40, huh? Yeah, I got the least. So then, when it came time for, I, I decided I was going to leave because I wasn't going to live with the stepfather. Mm -hmm. Just, just, a, I, I wasn't going to do it. And I kept running away and going back to where I was, when I, when I, where I was raised. Mm -hmm. I kept running back to Tommy's father and mother. Mm -hmm. So then, and and he said, "Now look, Maggie," she said, "You'll never get." any more than your passage out of that land. I'm telling you. And do not take money from anybody, but write to them and ask pay for the money to go to America. So I came to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, to my mother's brother. Mm -hmm. who, who did you have to ask the money for? For, to, for me to go to America. Okay, from who? From my stepfather. Okay. And since he had the use of the land and everything, you know, mm -hmm. well, damn it, he didn't hesitate a bit. He gave you the money, huh? Paid my way right away. <laughs> Somebody said, do you know why he did that? Because you were the big mouth and your brother was the quiet one. <laughs> Send that girl to America. <laughs> Send her away. Get rid of her. <laughs> so I came. Yeah, do you still remember the ship and everything? The, it's what steps? Do you remember the ship? What, what, you uh, the Cunard Line. What's that? The Cunard Line. The Cunard Line. Right. Oh, yeah. And I think it was, was it the Columbia, what the ship was it now, I forget. I could remember it very easily because I, uh, I was only a kid. Mm -hmm. How old were you? It was... I was around 15. Uh -huh. but, but better to add, Given back talk, then my bro my brother was quiet. Mm -hmm. Now he didn't come over when you did, did he? I just no. He, he stayed there. Right? My, then my uncle advised him, you know. My uncle went back from this country. He said, when he became of age, he said, you've got to take my stepfather to court. He said, you've got to take that to court. He said because he said, you get. He said if she signs or share over to you. You'll get your mother and you'll get your mother. But if you don't take him into court, you'll use, lose your mother's share. You won't get it. Pal get it. He had to take pay into court. Stepfather. And, uh, and of course, Uncle Tom, Bridie's father, you know, helped him. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, Peg has thought I would not sign my share over that I probably go back. I had no more notion of going back than she did. <laughs> and uh, I went down to the Irish Council down in the Merchandise Mart and I signed anything I had, any land I had, over to my brother. Mm -hmm. So that took care of that. And uh, then he got it all straightened out. He got his half, he got my, the other half that was split between my mother and myself. He got both of that. Oh, good. So he had a, he had a, mm -hmm. now, Matt, it wasn't like low land. It was more like, you know, when you're going down uh, south of where were we going, there was a lot of mountains. Oh, yeah. Well, there was a lot of mountains. Hilly. Yeah, it was more, more sheep land. That's what it was, more sheep land. Mm -hmm. Maybe they might have a hundred head of sheep out there. You know. They raise any crops? And they, yeah, but not, not like you would if the land was really good for, not like where grandma and grandpa was. Mm -hmm. Grandma and grandpa had all kinds of potatoes mm -hmm. and everything. But <clears throat> this was more of a rocky, mm -hmm. more of a, a rough land. Yeah. More for sheep was what it was. What were the villages that were around by there? The, the Kilbride was the Kilbride. village. Mm -hmm. Kilbride. And Clumbar, mm -hmm. but that's where my mother was. But where we, where Jimmy and I was, was Durian. Mm -hmm. Was where? 
Durian, D E R E R I N. That's where what? That's where you live? That's where we live. Brother. My brother and myself. That's where you grew up. But, but then, uh, then of course, he had to go back and claim the land, which was maybe a distance of maybe 20 miles away. Mm -hmm. so, uh, because if he didn't, my stepfather had, uh, there's a time limit, and I suppose it's all over, Matt. Mm -hmm. It's all over, I suppose, if, if you didn't come and claim the land within a certain time limit, it would be automatic. Uh, you know, we would go over to whoever was there. Mm -hmm. so Does my, he still have the land now? Oh, Jimmy has a good farm of land there. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, I came out and I came to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania first. And my uncle was on his way home to Ireland and he said, this is no place for her. What do they have in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania? Not the normal steel mills. <laughs> How long did it take you to get there from the ship? From the ship? Mm -hmm. Not too long because, because that's almost along the shoreline. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't too terribly long. But, but from, from Ireland to Washington. Seven days. Seven days. Yeah. And I was sick every single rotten day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Finally, uh, they said, they finally they said, I couldn't even keep water down. They said, um, we're going to have to send her to the environment if we can't, if she's going to keep st something down. But I got away from that. But I was sick, mm -hmm. sick, sick. And isn't it awful? I'd never want a kid to have to go through that. To go into a strange family yeah. then. My, my uncle and his wife were strangers to me. What the heck did I know about them? And which mm -hmm. uncle was it that you were with? That, uh, that was Uncle Jack in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Uh, now, was, she was, were they on the ship with you? or No, they were, they were, they were living down. I was alone. I was alone. I don't know how I ever met him. But anyway. <laughs> And now she was the type, you know how we are, now they the cups here, they would get them done tonight, they get them done tonight. Now at that night, we're supposed to be out in the drawer, that's where it belonged. I was afraid to go to the toilet, because I thought I might stay in the toilet. I never, ever, ever want anybody to have that kind of fear. I was scared to death. So then, of course, my uncle here in Chicago said, you know, that's not her destination. Her destination is Chicago. <laughs> and you're dealing with the minor, and you can get in trouble. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, potato. I, Go my, from Uncle Jack to who is in Chicago? Who? Uncle Walter. Uncle Walter. My mother's twin brother. Oh. Now, his wife was a normal person. Her name was Campbell. Uh huh. That's what I say. <laughs> but she was a normal. She was a, they had a they had six children, I think, eventually. But she was normal. I mean, she she did a lot of baking. Yeah. Bread baking. Yeah. It was hard times, and of course it helped. Yeah. What but was she, your mom's first name? Barbara. Barbara. Yeah. And what was her last name? Barbara McNally. McNally. That's right. Yeah, Barbara McNally. And she had a brother, Walter, her she, twin. She had a Walter. And then Jack. And there was Jack, and there was, oh dear God in heaven tonight. There was a big family. There was Mary, there was Sarah, there was Bridgie, Bridgie Monroe. And they lived in Gary, Indiana, or Miller, Bridget Monroe and her husband. Mm -hmm. They lived there, but I think he hit the bottle too. <laughs> oh, what a mess. So you lived mostly with Uncle Walter then? So, no, and then I went out, Uncle Mike had a little store of Miller, Indiana, uh -huh. right off the expressway mm -hmm. down below. And, they, uh, and his wife was nice. Margaret. Her name was Margaret Riley. Can't get rid of that damn Riley. <laughs> and uh, they had a little store. They didn't have a family, but they raised two boys that wasn't worth the powder to blow them to Hong Kong. <laughs> and they were nephews of hers, that the parents had died. Oh. And they t took those two boys in. Mm -hmm. 
my uncle out in Miller, Indiana, mm -hmm. my uncle Mike and I met. And um, of course I went out there for a while. They had a little store, grocery and bits of coffee, like they do in the country. Mm -hmm. Coffee to people mm -hmm. going by or tea or whatever. So this was after Pennsylvania? After what? After yeah. you were at Pennsylvania. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. I would not the big see, I'm still too young to go out and look for a normal job. Mm -hmm. I, I suppose I could, but I, I anyway it didn't work. So I stayed there for a while. But again, there was one of them you made sure your door was locked when you went to bed at night. Mm -hmm. Because he was a roamer. I never ever want anyone to go through that. You'd be scared to go to bed. You'd lock your door, you put a chair to your door, whatever you do. So anyway, I don't know if they got married or what the heck happened, but I think one of them died of TB, I think. But years and years later and years go by, and then I left there, and then this Hannah Hanahan came, and she was used from Toronto, give it that price home. Mm -hmm. She said, there's a hospital opening up, she said, at 3001 South Michigan Avenue. Let's go see what's mm -hmm. It was just opening up. She said, why don't you come with me, she said. It's Canadian Order of Nuns that's going to be uh, running, uh, running this. Yeah. Why don't you come with me? She said, maybe I can get a job there. Well, you could roll a board there. Yeah. So, anyway, damn it. <laughs> and don't you know I got hired? <laughs> and how old were you, were you when you got that job? I wasn't too old. I wasn't too old. I was only out here maybe, maybe a year or two. Maybe. I was under 20, I know. Yeah. And I, I got hired on the job. So that was the best thing in the world for me. Because when you when you went to any place, you signed out. And if you were going to stay out overnight at anybody's house or you're going to be late, you called. And they had that marked in the office on the sheet. Mm -hmm. So that was the best thing in the world for me because I had to be in at a certain time, and, and, and I was watched there, you know. Yeah. So I was there for quite a long, long, long time. I worked with the patients, and I loved it. Yeah. I loved working with the patients. And they'd be out, someone would be trying to fix you up with somebody belonged to them, and I could care less if they're fixing me up with who. <laughs> <laughs> no, fix me up. <laughs> and, uh, Oh, but I, I just love that job. So the nun called me into her office and she said, uh, can you go through training? I said, no. It's all right. You <laughs> tea? <laughs> how? How could I? Well, she said, I've been watching you. Good. <laughs> Good, you've been watching me. She said, it's a shame, she said. Oh, buddy. Whoa. Oh, oh, would you? Is mommy getting grandma some more tea? Because, she said, you should be a nurse. So, that's what I can I, I, I can't do it. I have nobody to back me up. I, and I can't live anyplace for nothing. Yeah. Well, she said, it's a shame. She said, because I've been watching you, she said. And she said, yeah, it's a shame. You're wasting your vocation, she said. Now, I missed it when I was in there. So you were helping You were helping at a hospital or something? I was. I was a nurse's aide. Yeah, that's right. But at that time, Matt, 
you did everything but give medication. Mm -hmm. Medication you couldn't give. Yep. So you like dressed wounds and stuff like that too. Every, you did everything but mm -hmm. you know, you took care of the bathed them and yeah. and 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 you were instructed before you you know what you started such a start on such a place mm -hmm. to bathe them and yeah. wash them. At that time they used to uh, give them sponge baths in bed. Mm -hmm. Now they have them up as soon as their child is born. Yep. That's almighty mm -hmm. tonight, which is wrong. Yep. Dr. Hawkins always said that. Uh, I was at Hawkins. He said, they're going to pay for that, he said. Yep. He said, because, you, you know, it's not right to get a woman up right away. Mommy, go. Mommy, go. She's getting, she's getting grandma some tea in the kitchen. But uh, the nuns were great. Mm -hmm. They were great. I mean, you could talk to them, and, and uh, if you had any questions or anything, they'd answer them. They were great. That's what saved me was the Lewis Memorial Hospital. Mm -hmm. because, Downtown Chicago? Yeah. And I never knew that, that there was, until I was going with Jimmy, I never knew that the Irish or the Italians or the Polish or the, I never knew there was any difference. Mm -hmm. I thought they were all people, yeah. you know, because I worked with, I worked with the Italians, you worked with them. Every German, every nationality, mm -hmm. and the, any, you know, you just got along with people. My best friend was Lillian Tomasi, and she sure than heck wasn't Irish. <laughs> but um, but you got along with that, and I didn't know for years until I started going out with Jimmy and and Martin D.C. I didn't know there was a difference in nationality. Yeah. Uh -huh. I thought everybody was the same. Mm -hmm. But that was because in the hospital, everybody, you know, everybody, everybody needed the same. They had the same blood, and you know. and everybody did their job. And if I was through ahead of you, I'd help you. Yep. You know, so I never knew. Mm -hmm. For years and years and years, there was a difference in nationality, yep. and that's when I found out that. But uh, it was the best thing in the world for me was the hospital because I came out too young. And I couldn't stay at my uncle because there was depression. Yep. And he had a family to try and feed the poor son of a gun. He, was, he worked for the railroad. He was an electrician for the railroad. Mm -hmm. And even with his job, he couldn't, he had a, even with his job, they were on public aid. Because they had, I think, six children. Wow. Yeah. They were on public aid. That's tough. And his wife was a good cook, and she could make something out of very little. Mm -hmm. And if she wasn't, they would have been in trouble. Yep. They would have been in trouble. Now, she was very nice. Nora was her name, Nora Campbell. She was very nice, and if I was out, and I was out a little later, I didn't think she would But Uncle Walter, oh, he took a fit. <laughs> and she'd say, Walter? You are entirely too hard on that child. <laughs> oh, and, and he drank. I told you, Walter, you're entirely too hard on that child. But she was great, mm -hmm. Nora Campbell. Yeah, good. But Walter was well, mm -hmm. my, my mother's twin brother. Yeah. So you were in Chicago for? I was in Chicago then. Was that in the during the Depression, too, when you came to Chicago? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Was that in the late 40s or 30s? That's in Pennsylvania. I was only there a very, very short time. Yep. And then you went to Indiana for a few years? Then I went to Indiana for a little while. I wasn't too long in Indiana because there was two guys there who had two nephews. And like I say, you'd have to lock your door at night. Yep. But, uh, and then years later, Catherine Bryan, as time went by, and she, she was, uh, fell into much the same position. She had a stepfather, too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And things were more comfortable yep. there. And uh, if she was out, she'd, she'd stay in my house. You know, after we were married, she'd stay in my house. Mm -hmm. You know, so this time she's gone out. Yep. She said, I went out and such a guy, she said. <laughs> she said, uh, she said um, he's from around Miller, I think, she said, a Gary and around there, she said. His name is so-and-so. I said, Catherine. 
Do you know who you're going out with? <laughs> she said, Margaret, no, I just met him at so-and-so. She said, I know. His name is so-and-so. Captain, I said, that's one of the guys that Uncle Mike raised out in Miller. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I said, the only thing I can tell you, Catherine, I said, be ready for a fight, because I said, those guys would screw the cat. <laughs> and she said, oh no, Margaret. So she said, I said, yeah, be careful, Catherine, that's all. So, of course, she only went out with them, oh, I'd say about two or three times. Oh, yeah. She went, she, when she met him that night, she told him right away. Mm -hmm. she, got mess him, with me. <laughs> she got him ready for the kill. Yeah. She told him right away. She said, uh, Margaret Shannon is my cousin. Yeah. And uh, she got him ready for the kill. Mm -hmm. But she, uh, she only went out with him a couple of times. Yeah. She said, no, Margaret. She said, <laughs> but it's funny how you meet people, oh, Matt, yeah. and you don't know who they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She didn't have a clue that that guy was raised by her uncle. Right. <laughs> oh. Dear yeah. God in heaven tonight, I would really... I don't think I would ever want anybody to go through, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. I don't think I would. And if I had the backing, I know in my heart I would have gone in nurses training. Mm -hmm. I know I would because I loved it. Yeah. But down the line, many, 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 many times, it has helped me. Mm -hmm. And it helped me to work in the hospital because they told, they trained you. Mm -hmm. how to do different things. That helped me. But uh, I know in my heart, if I had I had the backing, that's what I would have yep. gone through. I was in hope that was one of the grandkids, but this one was the only one that came the closest to it. Mm -hmm. But I was in hopes that yep. some one of them would have liked it enough to go through training. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a long time when you figure it, three years. Yeah. I think it's, it is. is it still three years, Corinne? What, Graham? For nurses training. Um, it takes four years now. At See? Least. Yep. See, now you have to have the, spe the special take. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. How long were you at the nurse's aid? For oh, I was until I got married, I'd say about four years, five oh, yeah. years. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. Mm -hmm. I loved every single second of it. Yep. But, like I say, it helped me Afterwards, there was a neighbor that was very, very bad, and I'd go over and I'd give her a bath, Marion Clemson, and I'd take care of her and everything. And she'd say when I'd go over there, she'd say, Margaret, I was waiting for you. Sure, because <laughs> she I... She knew you'd come. Yes, yeah, I was waiting for you, Margaret. Yep. What I did, I put it to, to uh, use different times, and I often... Uh, thank God that that was the way I fell in because I could have gone the other way too very easily if I stayed with up in Miller, Indiana. Mm -hmm. huh, I don't know about those two. They're both dead now. I think. Oh, yeah. I think. I think they died. One. I think one developed consumption, mm -hmm. and that ran in his mother's side of the family. Or so mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure one of them developed consumption. And I don't know, Uncle Mike's, uh, they wanted me to, Uncle Mike wanted me to, well, they, he'd come in now and then when we were first married, he'd come in pretty often and he'd, mm -hmm. he'd be telling Julie different things and to do and all that. Mm -hmm. Uncle Mike was good. Oh, yeah. But uh, I think he kind of thought that I might have something to do or go out to the bar. I wouldn't go near that place if you paid me. <laughs> So how, how did you meet Jimmy then? Well, I met him at the Irish dance, uh, the Irish dancer, and I was Irish dancers. Oh yeah. Yeah, we were both the uh, Lillian Tomasi and myself. Uh -huh. That was your best friend, you said. Yeah, yeah. Lillian Tomasi, mm -hmm. fine Irish name. And uh, this Tom Riley, Bloody uh, Riley, don't go away. Uh -huh. Tom Riley uh, introduced me to Jimmy. Jimmy was playing the accordion or something, mm -hmm. and he introduced me to Jimmy. And uh, at first, I didn't think too much of him because there was another guy, Martin D.C. 
and I was kind of more interested in Martin Beesey than I was in Jimmy. <laughs> but uh, I went with Martin for a while, and then finally, Riley got me to go out with, it was during the World's Fair, mm -hmm. go with himself and, and Jimmy, and Riley went with Rose McHugh to the World's Fair. Mm -hmm. And that was when I started going. In Chicago, Jimmy. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was 1933, was it right. the World's Fair? Yeah. Murderman, yeah. 33, 30, 32 and 33, I mm -hmm. think. And then I started to go over to Jimmy. And then I, then I did tell Martin, though. <laughs> I did tell Martin. Uh -huh. I said, Martin, I might as well tell you, I said, uh, well, I've been going out with you. I've been going out with another guy, I said, Shannon. And I said, I don't want to be doing this, I said. So I said, Martin, I think I'm going to stay going with Shannon. Mm -hmm. he, That's all right, Margaret, he said. If you ever change your mind, remember I'm here. <laughs> I said, Martin, I don't think I'll change my mind. <laughs> and he said, well, if you ever do, Margaret, he said, I'm here. Mm -hmm. So uh, okay. then I stayed going to him. I thought, well, what the heck, you know. How long did you go with him before you got Three married? Three years. Three years? Uh -huh. Yeah. Three years. Mm -hmm. well, about, and when we'd go out to, uh, <coughs> his mother came out from Ireland. I think there were six brothers. Maybe, maybe I'll get the two. Uh, I think there was five or six brothers, mm -hmm. and they rented an apartment. And uh, and the mother came, they brought the mother out when she was older, which was a big mistake. Mm -hmm. This is Jimmy's family. Jimmy's fa mother. It was a big mistake. Mm -hmm. Because you know in the village home in the old country, you know, if you don't feel good, the woman next door will come in and visit you and everything. She lost all that when she came out. And uh, then I, I used to go over to Jimmy's then once in a while. And, and that's how I stayed going to me. I thought, well, I think I'll stay going. I had Martin D. I said, Martin, I think I'm going to stay going to Shannon. So he, he said, I better, if you change your mind, you know, I'm here. Yep. So he had Jimmy, when did he come over to America then? He came over about the same year I did. Really? Yeah. Wow. In 29 or 30. Mm -hmm. What village was he from then? In fact, I think we came pretty close to the same time. Uh -huh. Very close. Mm -hmm. Because... All right, you can talk. They brought the mother out then after that. The mother and Joe. Joe was young when he came out. He, in fact, he went to school here. Mm -hmm. Joe and Tony. Joe and Tony and the mother, I think, came out together. Tony's mm -hmm. dead. Tony is dead. Mike is dead. Pat is dead. Joe. Joe's the only one living. Mm -hmm. She was very good to his mother, though. His mother had a, oh, she had an open wound on her leg from the knee down. And it, would, it wouldn't heal. And the doctor said it had to be treated. Mm -hmm. You know, that it, it, had to, it had to be washed and sick. And Joe always took care of it. Mm -hmm. Give Joe his due. He had a tough life after when he married and stuff like that. But again, he should have he should have judged his timing better. But he t he was good to the mother. Mm -hmm. He was often good to the mother. But I don't know what's going with him now. The poor devil. Yeah. Where's he? Where's he live then? Huh? Is he living in Chicago? Yeah. Yeah. Is it up on the north side? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't, I, so many things changed for him. He married her. They, they had trouble, they had trouble. She, what he shouldn't have done, and I, I, th I think it goes for any young couple, not to move in with the father or the mother or older people. They, they, they deserve their life starting out by themselves. Yeah, that's for sure. Because they have to get used to each other they don't need to move in with the mother or a father. Mm -hmm. They don't need it. And he brought, Mary was her name, got him her son. He brought Mary in there with the mother. 
There were two different types of people. Mm -hmm. Mary was born in this country. Great person. I, she, I was very close with Mary. And uh, the personalities crashed. The personalities didn't get along at all. And uh, Mary had a bit of a temper about her, so. Mm -hmm. And I guess Grandma couldn't get used to that she wasn't taking care of everything and that, that uh, Mary was the one now that was taking care of things. Mm -hmm. She couldn't get used to that. Right. You know? right. And at one period, she wanted to come to live with us. And I thought, oh dear boy, here I go again. But anyway, I, I used to go over there almost every day. Mm -hmm. and, and then Mary and Joe had moved out, finally moved out. The, the uh, landlord, the one they rented from, his name was Joyce, and was 40, 40 Coke. Correct. And uh, thank you. And the landlord and Mary, I don't think, hit it off too good either. Because he said, he was, he was very friendly with me. He said, uh, I'd give Mr. Shannon the apartment for nothing, he said, if they'd move out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, I'd give it to her for nothing. But, uh, and, and when I'd go there, he'd be real good to me, and he'd do this and do that and the other thing. But Mary did not get along with him. Mary, Mary like I said, Mary had a temper, and God have mercy on her. You know, who's to say whether she was right or wrong? Joe mm -hmm. was just as much to blame. He should have never brought her in there. Yeah, that's for sure. He should have never brought her in there, knowing how things were. Yeah. Now, what, what village was that family, the Shannon family from in Ireland? They're from about 40 miles away from where I was raised. Oh, yeah. Not too terrible. Now, where they came from was not. And there's a shrine in Knock mm -hmm. to the Blessed Virgin. Mm -hmm. So they were they were maybe two or three miles away from that place. Oh, yeah. And uh, <coughs> and Grandma Shannon, I guess, was left. Her husband left her with the children were small and stuff. Mm -hmm. She had her own problems. Uh, he was oh, on so this. That was, okay, so that was Jimmy's. Father, father left yeah. the family when he was well, he was uh, he, uh, he's, he came to America mm -hmm. to make some money but he got injured in St. Louis mm -hmm. and then when he went back that injury was repeated mm -hmm. you know. so I guess it was kind of hard on Grandma Shannon too there but the neighbors you always had them neighbors mm -hmm. if you got along with them yep. and you better get along with them so if you didn't, mm -hmm. then I wouldn't bother you. Yep. Do you remember any stories of uh, your parents, how they met and things like that, oh, or your uh, grandparents? My mother was, her name was Barbara. Uh -huh. And my father's name was Eddie. Mm -hmm. So Eddie Jennings, right? Yeah. And then he was, Barbara, what was her, do you remember her maiden name? McNally. McNally. And my